这是我们一家，你好，旁听到。我叫美丽，我叫茉莉。This is my family, and we are living Asian. Are you? Oh, oh. oh. you're not a bus of me. <laughs> 你好 ，from 贵州。<laughs> all right, we have traveled from Qingdao all the way to the south of China here in Guizhou, and we are visiting different villages with the Dong ethnic minority group people. We're super excited to experience a little bit more culture. I know that we're going to do some, you know, trying on of traditional dress and different dyeing of like materials that they do here. They make their own clothes, and we are already so excited because look at the view. As we walked the streets of Jiaoxing, we were surprised by all the blue, blue fabrics hanging from the buildings. We learned that indigo dyeing has been a rich part of Dong life for millennia. Being guided by a few kind local ladies to experience just a taste of this ancient craft will be a cherished memory. The sound of mallets pounding fabrics to achieve a brilliant shine, the deep blue of the natural indigo-filled dyeing pots. And even the strange aroma of the hot dyeing liquid—all unique characteristics of an experience you must have when visiting the area. To celebrate their New Year and other important holidays, the Dong people will get together to make tsuba by hand. They pound cooked sticky rice into a gluttonous blob, which is harder than it looked. We loved watching them work together as a team to manage the sticky mess. They covered pieces of the rice with a mildly sweet soybean powder, and the best part of it all, everyone came by for a taste. The Dong traditional dress was like none we have ever seen before. From the deep colors to the many variations of textures and designs, it definitely stood out among others. But I think everyone's favorite part was the hairdo and headdress combo. The high bun with the silver flowers brought a unique beauty to the ensemble. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
Visiting these types of places was one of the biggest reasons we wanted to live abroad. We wanted our kids to experience different ways of living with the great hope that they will be more open-minded, accepting, and loving people. Even with these amazing experiences though, we still fall short and our kids are still kids. But seeing them walk around villages like this, try new foods, and learn from the village people are memories that will last a lifetime. It's these unique moments that light a fire within me and make me want to learn more, experience more, and see more. I hope we have lit something within our girls as well. I also hope that one day we will all look back on these times in China and smile as we realize how truly good we had it. So, Xing, thanks for the memories.